Weight loss tip number 16, cut down on alcohol. Most of us already know alcohol isn't brilliant for us, although a little bit is okay. We're gonna to touch on a few of the lesser known aspects when it comes to alcohol and how it affects your fitness. And we are releasing this video in October in the hope that you might go sober for October and adopt a really healthy fitness habit that will serve you well in the long run. Now, to start off with, let's be clear, we all like a drink. There's nothing wrong in enjoying a nice relaxing drink. You know, we have a few glasses of red wine over the weekend. There's no harm in that, as long as it's balanced. When it comes to fitness and alcohol, alcohol does set you back. And it's quite important to understand how. The first and probably the most obvious way is by affecting your deep sleep. It also dehydrates you. Both of these mean that if you're training on a day after a night's drinking, your workout isn't going to be 100%. There's no escaping it, unless you're gonna have just, you know, a glass of wine with your lunch, which should be fine. You've probably come across the term beer belly. It's not a coincidence. Unlike um, spirits and wine, beer contains phytoestrogens, I think I said it right, and prolactin, which among other things is responsible for breast development. These two compounds also really increase the estrogen in your body. A lot of people associate this with testosterone reduction, but more importantly, estrogen upregulates alpha-2 receptors on your belly fat and your moves. More beer, more estrogen, and your stubborn fat is harder to shift. Now, this really does only apply to beer. So if you are trying to get fit, our suggestion is stay classy. Maybe go for gin, whiskey, a glass of wine, just not beer. And also in the interest of staying fit and healthy, it's no secret that heavy drinkers do suffer from high blood pressure, cholesterol, fatty liver, depression, and more. Besides an overall reduction in exercise performance the following day, alcohol also affects both muscle building and weight loss, albeit in a slightly less obvious way. This is something we really want you to take on board when you consider that drink. When it comes to muscle building, Alcohol significantly reduces uh, protein synthesis by interfering with the mTOR pathway. And yes, protein synthesis technically does happen even long after you've trained. So even the drink a few hours past your workout will interfere. So if you're working out and going out that evening, you are leaving your muscle gains on the table. Alcohol also trains your cells to be less efficient at fat burning. It inhibits PPAR alpha, which normally would help your mitochondria train to favor fatty acids over glucose metabolism, which you want, so you don't want to inhibit that. And also, it stimulates Srebrenica 1, I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> <laughs> which, um, which sort of like um, remodels your liver to favor fat storing. But just to caveat that, um, these processes do take time, so it's not like the occasional drink is going to destroy everything. The occasional drink is fine. It's quite hard to cut down on alcohol if you like your drinks, but this is a great opportunity to go a few weeks without. Once you feel like this is under control, you can still enjoy the occasional drink, but just keep these effects in mind. Do you know anyone who, you know, works hard to build muscle and lose fat, and then matches those efforts in the pub drinking? Why not share this video with them and help them get a better balance between the gym and the pub and help them see more out of their training. Thanks for watching. For more weight loss tips like this, check out our YouTube channel or head over to bellyproof.com forward slash tips. <laughs>